Diggly and Daisy are so excited for Halloween. They can't wait to go trick or treating tonight. Oh, but oh dear, Mr. Rubble says they've still got work to do. Diggly and Daisy are working hard on the construction site. There's Buster and Scout going trick or treating. Diggly and Daisy wish that they could join them. Here comes Mrs. Skip. Look, she's given them Halloween masks. That's given Daisy an idea. What's that noise? Trick or treat! Daisy is trick or treating Mr. Rubble, and he doesn't recognize her. He's given her some sweets. Maybe they can go trick or treating after all. Now Diggly's going to try. Trick or treat! <laughs> Mr. Rubble doesn't recognize Diggly either, so gives him some sweets. But, hmm, that trick or treater looked kind of familiar. Mr. Rubble's going to investigate. Uh oh. Daisy's hiding, Diggly's running. Mr. Rubble thinks something funny is going on. A trail of sweets. He's chasing after Diggly. Oops. Oh dear. Mr. Rubble found them. He caught them playing instead of working. But... Aw, he's brought them some more sweets. Mr. Rubble is a big softy, really. Now he's letting Diggly and Daisy go trick-or-treating. Happy Halloween, everyone. It's a very windy day at Construction HQ. I wonder what they'll be building today. Oh, wow. The towpath for the canal. That looks amazing. To build a towpath, they'll need paving slabs. Here comes Rocky the riverboat to deliver them. Oh, it is windy today. Rocky loves to listen to music on his big headphones. There. Now to unload the slabs. Gently there. Thanks, Rocky. Now the crew can get to work on the towpath. But the wind is picking up. Oh no! Mr. Rubble's hat. It's landed on the back of Rocky. Not to worry. Mrs. Skip can get it. She's even trying it on. Oh no! Rocky is sailing on. But he doesn't realise Mrs. Skip is still on the back. Come back, Rocky. He can't hear them because of his big headphones. What's Mrs. Skip going to do? She can't get carried off down the river. Who knows where she'll end up? They have to get Rocky's attention somehow. Watch where you're going, Mr. Rubble. Oops, Mr. Rubble hit a box. Diggly is racing ahead to try and stop Rocky. Maybe he can get his attention with this ball. Good thing Mrs. Skip has the helmet. Hmm, what's Daisy up to? She's brought the stack of slabs. I wonder what her plan is. She's hopping up on top. Hooray! She saved Mrs. Skip. She's back on dry land, safe and sound. For you. Later on and the towpath is almost finished. Rocky is drifting past again, still listening to his music. He never knew anything was wrong. Another windy day at Construction HQ. That wind really is blowing today. But today they're building a bigger enclosure for the sheep at the farm. Oh dear. The old sheep enclosure is far too small. Good job they're building a new one. That wind really is cold. And whoa, strong as well. But wait, what's Diggly seeing? Look, it's an old farm windmill, but it's wobbling all over the place in the wind. I think it's going to collapse. They have to stop it falling onto the sheep. Phew, good job, Daisy. 
Now it's falling towards the pigs. Uh-oh, look out. Phew, Daisy saved it again. Now it's falling back towards the sheep again. Oh dear, this is no good at all. What are they going to do? Wait, I think Diggly has an idea. Hmm, Diggly's climbed up on a box. He's taken the wheel off the top. Ah, he's taking the old tower apart from the top down, so it can't fall over and hurt anyone. In no time at all, they've taken the tower apart. Now what can they do with all these planks of wood? They can recycle all the old planks from the tower and use them to build a bigger pen for the sheep. It's always good to build something new out of something old, instead of throwing things away. There, now the sheep have a much bigger place to play. Good job everyone! It's still a bit windy. Uh oh, Mr Rubble's hat! One of the sheep has it. Now he's got to get it. Today the construction crew are going to build a canal. That will be great fun. First they need to dig a trench for the water. Bump and CJ want to help. But looks like Diggly and Daisy have it covered. Maybe they don't need Bump and CJ. In no time at all, the trench is dug. Good job, everyone. Daisy's ready. And smash. Here comes the water. It'll reach Diggly and Mr. Rubble any second. Any second. Where is it? There must be a blockage somewhere. Diggly's taking a look. Look, it's spilling out over there. Quick, Daisy needs to fix it. Oh dear, how will they plug this gap? CJ, of course. She can use her cement to fix the leak. Good job, everyone. But now look, that rock is blocking the canal. That rock is too heavy for Daisy to move. But here comes Bump. He can move that. Hooray! Good work. There, at last the water has filled up the canal. They couldn't have done it without CJ and Bump's help. Good teamwork. The whole construction crew are getting ready for today's job. They're building that crumbly old building. That can't be right. Oh, they're demolishing the building. Daisy is so excited. Soon enough, it's time to get to work. The building looks like it could fall down any moment. It'll be safer to knock it down. Everyone is ready to get started. But wait, stop everyone. There's a little kitten beside it. Oh no, the kitten could get hurt if they knock it down now. Phew, Diggly stopped them just in time. They need to get the kitten out of harm's way. She's so cute. Ooh, I think Mr. Rubble's afraid of cats. The kitten ran back inside. Oh dear, they can't knock down the building with the kitten inside. Diggly's trying to get her to come out with some milk. Daisy wants to pet the kitten, but Diggly thinks that will frighten her. Oh no, Daisy accidentally hit the building. I think it's going to collapse, but the cat is still inside. What will they do? Maybe Mr. Rubble can help, but he'll have to face his fear of cats. <gasps> Mr. Rubble is small enough to fit inside. 
Phew! Mr. Rubble saved the kitten. And just in time, that was a close one. Mr. Rubble was very brave to rescue the kitten. I think he's got over his fear of cats now. He's made a friend. Ooh! Diggly has a new book. Everyone wants to see. It's all about dinosaurs. But Mr. Rubble is waiting. It's time to start work. Today they're building a roundabout. Soon everyone is hard at work. Diggly just wants to read his book. But now isn't the time. There's work to do. Wait, what's Diggly found? It looks like some old bones. I wonder what they are. Daisy's collecting them up. There are so many. Oh, I think they're dinosaur bones. Now they just need to put them together like a jigsaw puzzle. Everyone is helping put the dinosaur bones together. Done. Uh, that doesn't look right. Oh dear, they'll have to try again. What about now? Nope, that's not right either. But wait, on the front cover. That's it. It's a T-Rex skeleton. Now they know what it is, they can put it together properly. Nice work, everyone. Now it can stand in the middle of the roundabout. It's a new day on the construction site. Oh dear, Bump is so slow. He's going to be late. Mr. Rubble doesn't like it when people are late. Today they're going to build a sand pit. How exciting! Diggly has dug the hole in no time at all. Oh dear, it takes Bump a long time to get anywhere. Now they just need to fill the hole with sand. But oh dear, Bump has to go all the way over there to get it. Bump looks very gloomy. Everyone is so much faster than him. But what's this? Diggly has an idea. Oh, he's making some changes to Bump's engine. Now Bump is so much faster. Whoa! Watch out, Mr. Rubble. Uh-oh, Bump is speeding around out of control. Look out for that pile of dirt. Oh dear. Poor Bump. He's just not designed to go fast. Diggly is going to change him back. Later on, Diggly and Daisy are trying to load the sand into the sand pit. But it's taking them forever. But wait. With his big scoop, Bump can do that in no time. He may not move fast, but he can move things faster than anyone else. Nice work, Bump. He's very useful just the way he is. It's a brand new day at Construction HQ, and everyone's excited to start work. But Mr. Rubble looks so tired. Oops, Daisy didn't mean to knock over all the plans. There, today's plans. But something's wrong. That playhouse doesn't look right. Oh well, if that's what the plans say, that's what they'll build. Now everyone's hard at work. 
But oh dear, Mr. Rubble is so mm -hmm. sleepy. Surely no one will notice if he has a short nap. But Diggly can't figure this out. Something is definitely wrong with these plans. But what is it? There. The playhouse is nearly finished. They just need a few finishing touches. But oh no! It doesn't stand up properly. This isn't right at all. Here's Mrs Skip. Looks like she's trying to say something. Hmm, that sign can spin upside down. That's it. The playhouse plans are upside down. That's why it looks all wrong. Now there's just one thing left to do. Three, two, one, jump! There. That woke Mr Rubble up. But the playhouse is the right way up now. Good job everyone. It's a bright sunny day at the construction HQ. Aw, Bump hasn't quite woken up yet. He doesn't like mornings. Here are today's plans. They're going to build a pond. How exciting! This will be so much fun! First, it's up to Diggly to dig the hole. Good job, Diggly! Next, Bump pushes the dirt away and Daisy puts some stones around the edge of the pond. Great! Now all that's left is to fill it up with water. Better get out of the way, Diggly. Bump's turned on the tap and the water runs through the hose. Hmm, Daisy doesn't like that stone. Oh no! The stone landed on the hose! Now the water can't get through. Quick! They need to do something! Daisy's got an idea! She's going to hit the stone. Splash! Uh-oh. Oh. Now the hose has sprung a leak. The water is spraying everywhere. But Mrs Skip knows what to do. They can use a band-aid to stick the hole shut. There. Good job, everyone. Now the water can flow again. Mr. Rubble wonders where the water's got to. Oops! Mr. Rubble has ended up in the pond. But that's okay. He thinks it's funny too. Splash! Great work, guys! It's a new day at the construction site. I wonder what they'll build today. Ooh! Mr. Rubble says they're going to build a car wash. <laughs> Amazing! Everyone's working as a team to build the car wash. Now they just need to add soap. Oh dear! That barrel doesn't look like soap. But Bump hasn't noticed. Here's Mr. Rubble to take a look. Oh dear, he's all dirty. Not to worry, he can get all clean in the new car wash. Uh, oh dear, something's gone wrong. It turned Mr. Rubble green. I don't think he's noticed. They can't let him look in the mirror. Diggly's investigating. There's the problem. Bump put paint in the car wash, not soap. They'll need to paint Mr. Rubble back to the right colour. Splosh! Daisy splashed Mr. Rubble with mud. Now he'll need to use the car wash again. In Mr. Rubble goes. Oh no, now Mr. Rubble is blue. Quick! They need to stop him before he looks in the mirror. Splash! Nice work, Daisy. Now he needs to use the car wash again. Diggly's putting in another paint can. I hope this is the right colour. 
into the car wash Mr. Rubble goes. Phew, he's back to his normal colour at last and squeaky clean too. Thank goodness. Looking good, Mr. Rubble. Good job, everyone. Look, it's the town zoo. And there's Bandit Bus. What's he up to this time? Oh no, he's unlocking the zoo doors. <laughs> and now he's opening them. The zoo animals might escape. Oh dear, that baby lion has just got out. Hey, it's Diggly and Daisy driving along oh. the road. And there's Tony the truck. Hi, Tony. They've all got work to do. Tony's on his way to deliver some boxes. Look, the baby lion. Tony is scared. He's running away. Oh. Diggly and Daisy wonder what he's running from. Hmm. Oh. The baby lion is still there. Diggly and Daisy are frightened. Mm. Lions can be dangerous. Oh. But they can't just leave him to roam free. He needs to go back to the zoo. I think Ooh. Diggly has a plan. Look, a toy mouse on a string. The baby lion is chasing it. He'll follow it anywhere. Oh, I see. <laughs> Diggly and Daisy are pulling the string. They're going to use it to lead the baby lion all the way back to the zoo. Ooh. Oops. Daisy's knocked the sign. Now they don't know which way the zoo is. Maybe it's this way? Oh dear, they've gone round in a circle. Well, maybe it's this way. Oh. Maybe not. Hmm. Oh no, the baby lion has caught up. But wait, he doesn't seem so scary. He just wants to play. <laughs> there, the baby lion is back at the zoo safe and sound. Good job, Diggly and Daisy. Thank you.